Good morning. It's the morning of the day that I leave for my trip. It's six o'clock, I think. I was going to leave at like 5.30, but it's supposed to be raining all day where I'm going, so I decided there was really no rush to get there. And if I left too early, I wouldn't have been able to say goodbye to my mom, so I decided not to leave like super early. And I'm really trying to just take it slow and easy and not have to rush through things. Plus, my kitty is in a bed with me. And I'm probably going to miss her the most while I'm away, so I'm just trying to take advantage of this time with her. Mama! Say hi! Hello! Hi, money! As you can see, she's very interested. Anyways, so that's that. I'll be off, hopefully... Hopefully by around 8.30 or 9. So I can make it there just after lunchtime. So, that's the plan. I, I, seriously, like, I can't help but laugh about it. Because if I don't, I'm going to get frustrated and upset. I finally am able to leave. My car is packed. Everything I was supposed to get done at the house is done. And this is what it's doing. And I was inside when it decided to start pouring down rain. My rain jacket, my umbrellas, everything was in the car to keep me dry. So I ran like a crazy person and still ended up getting soaked. So here's the hoping I dry out on the next five and a half hour drive until I get to where I'm going. destination and it's sprinkling but the sun is out so I'm hopeful for some good weather for a few hours um, I'll get there around 5 and I kind of want to be back in my car by 8 so I've got about three hours to kind of walk around and explore and stuff so yeah I'm, I'm it's looking pretty good it was a rough start but I think it's gonna be good I don't know if you can hear that, but it's raining again. So, uh, yo, if this is how the rest of this trip is going to go, where it's just one thing after the other, be watching the news because there's going to be a headline that says, girl feeds herself to an alligator in Florida. It's going to happen. Uh, I just don't know. So. If I get there and it's raining, I might do one of my inside things that I had looked into, or I might just take a nap because your girl's tired. I don't usually go this long without a nap, and driving in general makes me very, very sleepy. And I've actually made it without any caffeine, so I'm pretty proud of myself. Or I might go into the library and work on some stuff, read. I don't know. I got options. Um, None of them are what I wanted to do because what I want to do is outside. But we're going to adjust and we're going to be flexible and we're going to adapt. And it's going to be great regardless. <laughs> okay, y'all aren't ready for this. So those inside options that I was talking about, one closes at 5 and one closes at 5.30. And I won't be in town until five so inside options are out no pun intended I'm gonna take a nap go in the library for a bit maybe a coffee shop for a bit and then go to bed we'll see look I actually made it somewhere that's not my car or my house it actually
off the highway at the wrong point though and I think I was on the edge of like not safe place um, but it quickly turned into like normal stuff so just locked the doors put the mace in my lap you know but yeah so I ended up not taking a nap and because the weather's nice I'm outside which is great I'm gonna have to spend a lot of time inside tomorrow because it is gonna rain for a bit tomorrow so I decided I'd get some outside stuff done today so I'm hanging out at the battery for a little bit that's like that's the other side so it's like a really nice garden there's some like cannons and statues and things but uh, so yeah I'm pretty stoked I've officially driven by myself further than I have ever driven before which is a big deal especially since I usually get so tired when I drive I must say that trail mix that was given to me by the JNT B&B saved me on the way here because I was I had about like 30 minutes left and I was starving like my head was pounding stomach was hurting pulled out that trail mix so I was good to go so yeah I'm gonna walk around the battery for a little bit and then maybe head more like into downtown area and check out some of the streets and stuff there and then save my inside stuff called Rainbow Row. Look at these houses. Purple, pink, yellow, like a pale pink. There's a teal. It's so beautiful. I've actually been to a lot of places, but I've never been anywhere like Charleston. I'm kind of falling in love. I could totally get down with this. It's just so cute. And everything is so I love it. Now I'm at this place called Waterfront Park, also in Charleston, and it's really nice. It's really pretty. It's hot and humid, but the wind by the water is nice. So it's actually turned out to be a really nice evening. I've got about an hour to get back to my car. It's free parking, but I want to get back in my car before the sun sets, so off I go. There's all these cute little like alleyways that lead to their doors. This is one. I'm like, this is somebody's driveway. another one. It's like behind the gate. I have only been in Charleston for maybe three hours and I'm so in love. I was pretty much in love the minute I parked my car and got out but I can't believe I waited 28 years to get here and I'm definitely coming back. I'm not done. I still have tomorrow and depending on how that goes I might have Saturday morning here as well but oh my gosh like I just love it the architecture is beautiful the scenery is beautiful the people are so friendly and so kind and this guy who lives in a house near Rainbow Row just like gave me all this like history tour essentially of Rainbow Row and Waterfront Park and I didn't have to pay for it it was so great so yeah I just I'm in love and it was worth every second of the disaster that it took to get here because this is amazing. All right, so it's dinner time and I'm hungry because I left the house so late this morning. I ate my breakfast at lunchtime at like snackish time, like 4.30. I had some trail mix and it's now 8 o'clock. And that's all I've had to eat today. So I'm real hungry. So this will be the first time I'm having to like make a meal in my car with whatever I have in my car. 
So we're gonna see what kind of meal we can come up with. And I have an amazing Yeti cooler that my brother gave me. Well, bought for himself, but is letting me borrow. Um, I put a bag of ice in it this morning with some cold food. So we'll see how cold it actually kept things. All right. Wow, it's still like, it's refrigerator cold. That's impressive. Oh man, my car's gonna stink. I need a big one tonight. All right, so that's chicken. I had some cauliflower and carrots in here somewhere. Oh my gosh, this bag of ice is still literally ice. Like it hasn't melted at all. That's amazing. My cauliflower and carrots. So, um, <laughs> cauliflower and broccoli. So the vegetables don't need a plate because I'm just going to eat them out of there. And this comes out of there. But I will need a plate for my chicken. Oh, and this doesn't need a plate because it just comes out of there. Um, so I used a plate earlier for my turkey. And I put it right here. Oh, and there's my fork. Nah. More prepared than I thought. Look at that dinner. I've got protein, fruit, I got my veggies, got some dip. I'm gonna have some popcorn later. Well balanced meal out of a cooler in a car. So that's pretty exciting. And I'm pretty impressed with myself here, by the way. Um, and this is um, where I'm eating. So I'm actually in a Starbucks parking lot right now. Um, my car was organized and then I got to my first destination and had to pull stuff out and now it looks like this. So this could be interesting, but that's not what I was showing you. I was showing you that this is how I'm eating my dinner. The Yeti cooler is acting as my table and my like preparation surface. And yeah, so I'm just sitting in the back seat of my car, eating my eating my dinner. And then I'm gonna hang my tablet up right here and I'm gonna watch some TV while I eat my first dinner in my car. The first of 29, here we go. All right, I'm in bed. Very hard to see what's happening right now, but I can't believe I'm about to sleep like this. It's really comfortable. I just, it's, I, it's just crazy. <laughs> um, I'll have to show you in daylight one day, but essentially my legs are in the trunk and the upper half of my body is in my car. Like I said, it's crazy. Um, I gotta, you probably can't see it, but. Yeah, I'll have to show you all this stuff when it's daylight, but I've got a fan, like, blowing on me right here. Um, I've got my pillow, a stuffed animal. I've got black poster board here. I've got a curtain behind me and all the way around, and then I've got black poster board over there. That way it's completely dark, so I don't wake up when the sun rises, but also so nobody can see me and tonight I am in a hotel parking lot it's a rather nice hotel but not like so nice that they might kick me out but nice enough that I feel really safe so here's to first night sleep in my car after a very eventful day and tomorrow will be day two so hopefully tonight's sleep goes well so I can be ready to go tomorrow.